Poetry is a journal of the sea, animal living on land, wanting to fly in the air. Poetry is a search for syllables to strike at the barriers of the unknown and unknowable. Poetry is a phantom script telling how rainbows are made and why they go away. Carl Sandburg from the Atlantic, March 1923. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sadiq Kai, your moderator of the day, and thank you for coming to our seminar titled Dissecting the Poem Paper People by Harry Baker. Before we begin, I would like to elaborate on our agenda today. First is the introduction of the topic of the seminar, second, the findings on our research, and the third is the conclusion. Without further ado, I will introduce you with our speakers of the day, Mr. Farrell and Mr. Adrian. So, before jumping into our speaker, I would like to introduce you with the poem that we will discuss. The Paper People is a poem created by Harry Baker. The the poem itself has won the 2012 Poetry Slam World Cup in France. A slam poem which has this great performance elaborates more on composition to tell story resided with different linguistics and social frameworks by using its exceedingly artistic form, fast-paced rhythm, and selected analogy with ambiguous and hidden meanings. Henry Baker is known as one of the most prominent slam poet, not only because his distinctive style in playing alliteration towards words and about how he often delivers thoughts, ideas, emotions of critics on social problems, political hypocrisy, environmental and humanity issues, but he also frequently used prodigious figurative language including metaphors that perpetually raise the audience attention to the meaning within the idea the poems tend to share. In Paper People, Harry Baker discusses about criticism on social predicament in stupendous performance and receiving the poem which each of its line covers no merits unexposed and concealed message as well as its connotative meaning that varies according to civilization concerns, historical, historical periods, and experience of individuals. Therefore, the connotative meaning of paper people opens the possibility of broad interpretation for its meaning. Therefore, based on the problems which have been stated above, we intend to identify and describe the connotative meanings of metaphors expressed in Paper People Slam Point by Harry Baker. So, Mr. Farrell and Mr. Adrian, why do you choose this particular point? We choose this poem because when we stumbled upon its presentation on the internet, we were shocked on the quality and the message, how the form and the flow. It is quite a pleasant experience and we want to analyze how to create such a thing that even won the Poetry Slam World Cup. Okay, so what approach do you choose to analyze this poem? We approach this poem with first analyze its form, whether it is through structure, sound, rhyme, rhyme and skits and seam, assonance, consonance, repetition, alliteration, language such as metaphor, simile, and personification, and also imagery that will consist of six types, visual, auditory, olfactory, gustatory, tactile, and kinesthetic. We will also analyze character, speaker, voice, theme and subject. This research is helpful to analyze the style and the structure that Harry Baker used and also shows the reason why he won the Poetry Slam World Cup in 2012. <clears throat> okay, first, please take a look to this data we have gathered. Let's start from the type. So, based on the data we found here, we decide to set this poem as a narration poem. Why is that? If you have written the, the poem, 
you will realize that the poem is like a story telling us about the society and the broken government or so we say a sculpted man with power and becomes tyrant <clears throat> next let's move to the form in the form here we decide to take the free form why in this poem seems the writer set the rules about how the poem should sound as we know there's a, a lot of word that begin with uh, the letter p and ends with the letter r which is about to explain in the next part the next part is alliteration as we know alliteration is a repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of at least two words in a line of a poetry the alliteration in this poem is dominated with the letter p as you see in this poem here right here many the words that uh, started with the letter p and the uh, next okay next is rhyme and rhyme is the similar sound at the endings of words the rhyme scene of this poem is a a a and b b b followed by c c c c and then d d d d extra until g g g g but in some parts there's no similar rhymes for example is in this part people like my grandparents who every single day since i was born have taken time out of their morning to pray for me that's 78 92 days straight of someone checking i'm okay and that's amazing there's no similar ending sound in that part and there are many more again many more but uh, we don't put it here the next part is uh, is the repetition repetition is the repeating of words or phrase for emphasis it conveys feeling of anticipation the most repeated word in this poem is the word paper as we know the writer metaphors the world into a paper assuming this is inside the paper world so everything in this world is a uh, paper and in metaphor comparative words such as like s and s blah, 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 s are not used so here as you can see the poem is paper people there is no paper like people as paper as people there's no nothing like that so we can conclude the the language is used in this poem is metaphor the next is imagery imagery yes imagery imagery is an image image a word or a phrase that appeals to one of our senses as we know we have five senses the so the image is the one to something that we can sense with our five senses 
Images can help us create a mental picture, hear a sound, feel texture or temperature, taste of sweet, sour, or salty flavor. In the art of poetry, these images are called the imagery. That is, language that appeals to the sense. The imagery in this poem is dominated with visual and kinesthetic. As you can see, if you have uh, read the poem, there are many X and uh, color mentioned in the poem. Lastly, the consonants and the assonance. Assonance is the repetition of the vowel sounds followed by different consonants in two or more stretch syllables in a line. Meanwhile, consonants is a repetition of internal or ending consonant sounds of words close together in a line. And this poem, we have the list of the consonant and the assonants. Uh, in here, we can show it. So the first line, the consonants is P, and the assonance is I. The second line, the consonant is P again, and the assonance is E. The third line, the consonant is P again, and the assonance is E. In the fourth line, the consonant is another P, and the assonance is E. In the fifth line, the consonant is P, and the assonance is E. As you can see here, the consonant also dominated by the letter P here. Okay, and that is what we found based on uh, analyzing in, from this poem. Thank you. So, based on the analysis, what can we take from this point? Uh, from that analysis, what we can take is the technique that Harry Baker used to create this masterpiece. Uh, first, the type. Because of it is a narration poem, it can be longer and more like a story than a traditional poem. Second, the form with free form. Harry Baker can use a variety of words and technique and not be bound by things like syllable, but it is still play around in this area. It is still incorporate what makes traditional poem enjoyable to hear and expand on it. Third, the face. There are the alliteration part in the beginning the story in the middle, mixed with opinion and relation with Baker's family, and an ending to tie it all together. The opening is placed for an attention grabber because when it is performed live, it is a tongue twister, and it can grab the audience's attention so that Baker can lay the foundation of the story. The story is about the world of paper, where everything is paper and Baker telling the story about it, talking about mundane things up until politics, the good side of human, the bad side, and in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too talking about problems occurring in real world such as paper thin policies, propaganda, terrorism, greed, etc. After telling about humans, it pulled us back and he said that I like people 
and begin to say things that human do like in their situations we are able to inspire telling stories of how his grandparents take care of him and his own entertain prisoners and wrap up by but even if the whole world fell apart then we'd still make it true because we are people uh, for there are a lot of wordplay in this poem like for example and we could watch paper tv and and it would be all pay pay per view as in paper and paper it also refers to as the latest method on acquiring such entertainment with a pay per view method second there are a lot of easter eggs and nods to pop cultures reference such as mentioned before pay per view stuck in paper traffic on the a4 paper like in a4 most commonly known for its heavy traffic and a4 as in the size of a paper there is also jack the paper ripper as in jack the ripper and it is ripping slash killing paper so jack the paper ripper and so on the level of entertainment that people have by enjoying this poetry is different from another based on this alone because it is have layers it makes it so that it is fun and enjoyable experience uh, lastly the meaning because even if with everything that went wrong with humanity there are still hope with all of the great wars and every problem imaginable there are still hope that's what makes poetry good what is the point of playing with words and pattern but it doesn't have any meaning okay well thank you mr adrian and mr fire for the explanation on this topic now i'm going to tell you the summary of today based on their analysis the poem is a narrative poem the poem describes the society and the politics the world here seems so broken and many politicians only think about themselves. The poet used the metaphor to show the errors of the people that have powers. The poem it seems to imply that many people in the government are so greedy. Also, the poem is dominated by the letter P and R. The type is free and not all the parts have rhyme dominated by visual and kinesthetic imagery. Okay, so I hope everyone can understand it quite clear. And we can also make a very beautiful poem just like Harry Baker. Why not? And thank you everyone for staying in this seminar. If any of you have a question, please type it on the comment below. See you on the next seminar. And my name is Sarika and goodbye.